Hello, class. Welcome to One Two Three English with me. I'm Teacher Crystal, and I'm super excited you are here today. Yesterday, we talked about the difference between an adjective of number and an adjective of quantity. And today, we are doing our ten dictation sentences over adjective of quantity. Remember. An adjective of quantity normally answers the question "how much," and it is not in exact numbers; it is in an approximate amount. So let's do our dictation. Number one, we always begin with the date. So get your notebook, get your pencil, and get ready to write. Number one. Today is Thursday, February fourth, two thousand twenty-one. Today is Thursday, February fourth, two thousand twenty-one. Today is Thursday, February fourth, two thousand twenty-one. Number two. Yesterday was Wednesday, February third, two thousand twenty-one. Yesterday was Wednesday, February third, two thousand twenty-one. Yesterday was Wednesday, February third, two thousand twenty-one. Number three. There is little interest in the class. There is little interest in the class. There is little interest in the class. Number four. The boy eats some rice. The boy eats some rice. The boy eats some rice. Number five. I don't have much time. I. Don't have much time. I don't have much time. Number six. There isn't enough food. There isn't enough food. There isn't enough food. Number seven. I did most of the work yesterday. I did most of the work yesterday. I did most. Of the work yesterday. Number eight. We didn't get any rain. We didn't get any rain. We didn't get any rain. Number nine. She drinks plenty of water. She drinks plenty of water. She drinks plenty of water. Number ten. They went. To the very bottom of the pool. 
they went to the very bottom of the pool. They went to the very bottom of the pool. Did you get all ten of them written? Did you notice that we used eight adjectives of quantity with eight nouns that cannot be counted? Underline the adjectives of quantity and the noun that follows. Okay, now let's check and see how well you did. Number one, today is Thursday, February 4th, 2021. Remember, you should have a capital T for today because every letter at the beginning of our sentences start with a capital letter. A capital T for Thursday because it is a specific day of the week. A capital F for February because it is the month. We have a comma that separates the day and the month and a comma that separates the date and the year. And of course, it ends in a period. It is a telling sentence. It gives information. Number two is the same except for it is in the past tense. So number two is yesterday. Was. Was is the past tense of is. Yesterday was Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. The same rules apply, the same capital letters, the same punctuation. Number three. There is little interest in the class. Little is our adjective of quantity. Interest is the noun. Remember, when we use an adjective of quantity, it cannot be counted. It is an approximate amount. It tells us how much interest. There's a little interest, but it doesn't give us an exact number. Number four. The boy eats some rice. Some is the adjective of quantity. Rice is the noun. We do not count rice, but you can count the grains of rice. When rice is by itself, it cannot be counted. Number five. I don't have much time. Oh. We have a contraction. Remember, when we use a contraction, the apostrophe takes the place of one letter and we combine two words into one. Instead of saying, I do not, we can use, I don't. I don't have much time. Much is the adjective of quantity. Time is the noun. Number six. There isn't enough food. Again, we have a contraction. This one represents is not. There is not enough food. We made a contraction. There isn't enough food. Enough is our adjective of quantity. Food is the noun. We cannot add an S to food. We cannot say there isn't enough foods. We just say food. You can have lots of different kinds of food. You can have strawberries and bananas and tacos and pizza. So there are lots of different kinds of food, but food in general does not have an S. And remember, if you cannot add an S and make the word plural, then it usually cannot be counted. Number seven, I did most of the work yesterday. Most is our adjective of quantity. Work is the noun. 
This is in the past tense. So we use did and yesterday. Number eight. We didn't get any rain. Didn't is did not. It is in the past tense, but it is a contraction. We didn't get any rain. When we have a negative here, we cannot use another negative. So you cannot use no because that would be two negatives in the same sentence. And you can't have two negatives in the same sentence. So in this case, if I have not here, then I change no to any. We didn't get any rain. Rain cannot be counted. So any is our adjective of quantity and rain is the noun. Number nine. She drinks plenty of water. Plenty of is the adjective of quantity. Water is the noun. Water cannot be counted. That's what makes this an adjective quantity. And number 10, they went to the very bottom of the pool. Very is the adjective of quantity, and bottom is the noun. So how did you do? Did you write all 10 sentences? Did you fix them so that you can go back and read them later? Remember, you can practice your speaking with me. As I speak, you can repeat it and practice your speaking out loud. When we do dictation, you get the four skills of learning a new language. You get listening. You get speaking if you repeat the sentences. You get writing. And you get reading if you go back and read them later. In less than 15 minutes, you can better your English. Any skill level, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, can do dictation because many of my students need to practice their writing. So I hope you followed along. I hope you're writing your sentences in your notebook. And I hope you watched yesterday's lesson so you were prepared for today's lesson. In the comments below, write a sentence using an adjective of quantity. Now remember, the noun cannot be one that's counted. If you write a noun that can be counted, it's not an adjective of quantity. It's an adjective of number because you can use the same words but depending on if that noun can be counted or not, depends on if it's an adjective of number or an adjective of quantity. So let's see what you come up with. Don't forget to hit subscribe. You can get added into the playlist so you can find all of the classes in order. And I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.